Depression affects over 280 million people worldwide, making it one of the most prevalent mental health challenges of our time. Understanding the neurobiological mechanism behind depression and implementing evidence-based treatment can significantly improve outcome and quality of life for those affected. What's happening in the depressed brain? Research reveals that depression fundamentally alters how our brain processes emotions. When experiencing depression, the amygdala, your brain's emotional processing center, become hyperactive when encountering negative stimuli while showing reduced responsiveness to positive information. This creates a biological bias towards negativity that makes everything seems worse than it actually is. Depression involves chronic inflammation in the brain. Pro-inflammatory molecules called cytokines disrupt the production of key neurotransmitters like serotonin. By hijacking the pathway that normally converts tryptophan into its mood-regulating chemical, instead of creating serotonin, your body produces kineuronine which can worsen depressive symptoms. Chronic stress triggers excessive release of adenosine triphosphate from brain cell activating inflammatory pathway that contribute to treatment resistance depression. This hyperarousal state affects sleep, heart rate and cognitive function creating a cycle that further affects depressive symptom. Here are some evidence-based lifestyle interventions. A comprehensive meta-analysis of 218 studies involving over 14,000 participants found that exercise produces moderate to significant reduction in depression. The most effective form include walking or jogging, yoga, and strength training. The antidepressant effect of exercise are proportional to intensity, meaning more vigorous exercise typically provides greater benefit. Just 30 minutes of walking three times per week can create measurable improvement in mood within weeks. Your gut microbiome directly influences brain function through the gut-brain axis. People with depression consistently show lower level of beneficial bacteria like Fecalibacterium and Coprococcus which have anti-inflammatory effect while having higher level of inflammatory bacteria like Agarthala. Key dietary strategies include Mediterranean diet pattern rich in omega-3 fatty acid, vegetables and whole grain. Studies show Combining omega-3 supplements with antidepressants produce significantly better outcome than either treatment alone probiotic foods to support beneficial gut bacteria. Depression and circadian rhythm disruption creates a bi-directional relationship. Poor sleep worsens depression while depression disrupts sleep pattern. Sleep hygiene strategies include consistent sleep schedule, go to bed and wake up at the same time daily including weekends, morning light exposure, get 15 to 30 minutes of bright light within an hour of waking, evening light restriction, dim light two to three hours before bedtime and keep temperature controlled. Reduced sunlight exposure during winter month contributes to seasonal affective disorder and general depression risk. Sunlight exposure triggers serotonin production while supporting vitamin D synthesis, which is crucial for brain function. Research show that vitamin D supplementation can significantly reduce depressive symptoms, particularly when combined with light therapy. Loneliness and depression creates a bi-directional relationship. Feeling depressed increases social isolation, while loneliness predicts future depression. The key is distinguishing between social isolation, objective lack of connection, and loneliness, subjective feeling of disconnection. Research show that addressing loneliness is more important for preventing depression than simply increasing the number of social contacts. Mindfulness-based cognitive therapy offer protection against depression relapse equivalent to maintenance anti-depression medication. Regular medication practice creates measurable brain changes, reduced amygdala reactivity to negative stimuli, strengthened prefrontal cortex for better emotional regulation, increased hippocampal gray matter important for memory and stress resilience. Studies show that experienced meditators process sadness differently using the present moment network in their brain rather than getting caught in the rumination cycle. Even 10 minutes daily of mindfulness practice can create significant improvement in emotional regulation within 4 to 8 weeks. While lifestyle interventions are powerful, they work best when integrated with professional treatment.
cognitive based therapy remains the gold standard with robust evidence for effectiveness interpersonal therapy focuses on relationship pattern and social functioning acceptance and commitment therapy helps with treatment resistance cases medical intervention include ssris and snris for moderate to severe depression combination therapy include medication and psychotherapy shows superior outcome novel treatments like ketamine for treatment resistance cases recovery from depression typically involves multiple approaches working synergistically start with foundational lifestyle changes while working with healthcare provider for comprehensive treatment immediate actions include establish consistent sleep schedule and daily morning walks weekly goal include add structured exercise session and mindfulness practice monthly targets include optimize diet build social connection and track mood changes in long term maintain healthy lifestyle pattern and continue professional support as needed depression is a complex neurobiological condition but the combination of evidence based lifestyle intervention with professional treatment offer real hope for recovery the key is consistency small daily action compound into significant improvement over time remember that depression affects everyone differently and what works varies by individual if you are experiencing persistent depressive symptoms reach out to the healthcare provider who can help create a personalized treatment plan combining the most effective intervention for your specific situation thanks for watching if you find this content helpful give a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting science content